Well, it's uh, October 19th, 2020. Uh, it's been about two months. We've been working on this custom, custom products feature, and here it is, print fam, for you. Uh, we've I've been doing extensive testing on the, uh, you know, the, the actual uh, <laughs> the development server. Sorry, I've been up all night, so bear with me here. But this is, we just pushed it to the live server, so I'm running through this for the first time as I do this video walkthrough through for you so let's do it together what do you say to get started building out your custom product catalog you're going to come over here to the products menu you're going to expand it down and you'll see we've separated it between the sns catalog and now we have our custom listing or our custom catalog whatever you want to call it i'm going to come to that page and you'll see i have nothing here right now so we're going to go ahead and create our first product and you do that simply by clicking add product very straightforward now, uh, we do need to assign some filters, but first we're gonna talk about the image right here. So you will have the opportunity to upload images for every color you know, that's in the product catalog, but this individual image right here is essentially your feature image. This is what shows up on the product catalog when you hit new quote. Uh, so in most cases, this would be your model image. The, the the one with the model wearing the garment but i don't i don't think i downloaded one let's see yeah i didn't so maybe let's go ahead and let's do that real quick let's go to uh hang on let me cancel this uh what we're going to do is go to since i don't have the sanmar catalog we're going to go to sanmar and we're going to open this up and we're going to just go to t-shirts and i did save some other images for oh i love how they do this uh, I mean, let's just go with this one. So we're gonna click on this image here, and this is the uh, Sanmar image catalog. So they, they're cool, they give you a lot of uh, image library stuff to work from, but what I'm gonna do is just save, um, I'm gonna get this green color here, be fine. And I'm gonna go right click, or I'm gonna maybe maximize it, go right click, and I'm gonna save my image to my desktop. So it, when you're creating a new product, you're gonna have to do this. You're gonna click on each image that you want, you're gonna save it, and you're gonna save it to your desktop, and then, uh, you know, uh, do it, do your thing with that. Uh, what I would also recommend is just um, well, renaming the file if you want to. You actually don't have to do that. I'm not gonna do that in this case. I'm, I'm thinking from an SEO standpoint, but forget it. SEO, dude, I can't talk right now. My brain is fried. All right, so let's upload our featured image. So we're gonna come here and now that I've saved that, I'm gonna upload this image here. Uh, and I'm just gonna assume that this is a seaport and company. So let's see here. Now we have all of our available SNS filters. And the idea behind this is that you're not creating double filters for brands and product names. You know, like if you're creating a Gildan, the Gildan filter is already there so you can select it from right here, right? You'll, you'll be able to find Gildan. But in this case, we don't have that. We're gonna call this shirt this a seaport, even though I don't think that's what it is. So let's call this um, seaport and co. All right, and you can also upload the brand image here, you know, so when you when you uh, search the products by brand image, like you, you'll have that as well, but I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna hit save. Uh, and now I should be able to, I can easily just type C, P-O-R-T and it'll filter it out. So we're gonna assign it to Seaport and Co. Uh, what is the name of this, man? It don't matter, let's just call it the AL204. I'm just creating something for now. AL2004. Uh, this is the you can the, the title would just be uh, looks like unisex Try blend Okay, and then the description. I mean you can literally just come in here and copy this whole thing. So just copy what they have here And we're gonna type we're gonna copy and paste that in the description you can expand this down Well, you should be able to right? And excuse my doggies in the background squeaking away all right so now we have the description in there now with fits this is just all the stock filters that come uh when you go to new quote go to the product catalog and they'll be over here on the side this is just giving you the option to select from these so obviously this is just a t-shirt so let's see what we have here uh this is a unisex t uh is it side seamed or is it tubular let's see yes yeah, side seam so we can also put uh, that filter in there as well. 
uh, and whatever other filters you want to apply to this particular product. Uh, under styles, we're going to just look for, I think, is there a t-shirt? Um, GG sheesh, GG sheesh. This is more like, a, I don't know, you could use this for whatever. I'm going to just do, I'm going to create another style here because I don't think there is one under that. This is just called T hyphen shirt. And we're going to save that. And we're going to look for that. And there it is. So I'm going to apply that filter. Uh, and then also under categories. Yep, t-shirts. There's other stuff as well, I guess. You could probably call it athletics. It's good enough. And then size. So by default, it gives you basically extra small through what, what like 6XL. And what you'll do is if in this case, let's just say we are going to look and see what sizes are available here. Extra small through 4 extra large. So we're going to check extra small small medium large extra large 2x 3x 4x okay so now we're going to add all of those as available options so let's do that first so now that we've hit saved uh, this product has been created the next step is to create our color rows right so as you come over here and look this is the available color option so you're going to need to create a row with each one of these colors so let's start with this one so we have the Great, so first thing I'm gonna do is with the product image, I'm just gonna uh, right click and save these two. So I'm gonna go save image as, uh, that's fine. And then on the, on the back one as well, I'm gonna click this and expand it. And I'm gonna go save image as as well and save bada boom. And I don't know if we can, yeah, I, we right now we're providing you with all of the thumbnails available from SNS. I haven't decided, I'll show you. I haven't decided if we're gonna make, um, well, anyway. Okay, so let's start by adding our first color roll. And yeah, so you can see what we've done is we just kind of gave you the ability to get all of the uh, colors by default. So let's start with the first one, which is the images I just downloaded, which is like a sport gray. So and we'll call this probably, is this closer to ash, aluminum gray? Mm, it's, it's, uh... I'm going to say ash real quick and we're going to see what we got here or maybe charcoal. Let's see what that looks like. Nah. Yeah, it's pretty close. You know what I mean? I mean, we're, you're just looking for something. So basically you have access to all of these different uh, image uh, thumbnail colors. And so you're going to select that. So now we have our color here and you can see that it populated all of the sizes that we selected from up here. Uh, and I'm going to show you another thing you can do later. So all of these little icons are here. You can add another product color size. You click this and then you can reselect or add more colors from the drop down here. Um, I think if I remember correctly, and I don't know if we've updated it yet. Let me see something. You can also add your own size. So let's just say you were creating a banner or something. You can go banner and hit save. I, I think there was a bug in development, which I don't know if we've updated it yet. Let me see if I can check this and if, it, if it's available here. Let me see. Oh yeah, it's there now. So okay, never mind. So we did fix it. All right. So now that we have all those in place, we just need to go through and put some stuff. So whatever your wholesale price is from Sanmar, let's just say it's two dollars. You're going to come in here, and on each price, you're going to enter two point zero zero. Now under the quantity column right here, if you leave it blank, it will essentially be infinity quantity. So it'll never go out of stock. It'll always be av available in as many quantities as you want, which in my personal opinion, that's what you're gonna do by default. But let's just say that you have a stock of colors in your shop. Uh, you can enter that in and then as you're using them, it will deplete it down to zero and it will stay at zero until you come in and, and uh, blank it out here manually. So there is inventory management with custom products. Uh, and we will be adding the custom pro uh, the inventory page here shortly. That's going to be something we do. I just wanted to get this launched and out to you guys. So what we're going to do is leave this at, at, in zero or empty for now, which is infinity. And then we're just going to put an average weight in here, which I think that this is, okay, this is 4.2 ounces. And this is important because when you're estimating shipping for your clients, it takes this weight into account to give you a more accurate shipping estimation. All right, so let's run down the list here and do that with all of these. I'm going to leave that blank, 4.2, uh, $2, and you only have to do all of this once, let's see. Running down the list, babies. 
Uh huh. My brain is firing on half a cylinder. I mean, I'm barely making it through this. Okay, how many more we got? God damn it. Uh huh. Okay, I'm gonna delete the rest of these because Don Juan do. <clears throat> All right, so and then of course on the two XLs and three XLs you would mark it up, right? So it would be like three dollars a piece, and usually they weigh a little bit more, but we'll just call it four point two. All right, so now we got that first one. Let's go ahead and hit save. And as you know, I have a tendency to want to refresh these pages sometimes just to make sure nothing times out. Um, and this is going to be a one that I use often, so I'm definitely going to make it as a bestseller. And if you do do like a 12 or less you can also do the less order limit and then when when you click that filter on from the catalog it will show only what you uh only the shirts that you offer at 12 or less i don't know if that makes sense all right so now that we've saved that we're going to come back in here we're going to view it and we're going to do some more modifying of this sucker so now that we've created that line we can duplicate this thing so we can just copy the row uh, for however many colors there are. I'm just going to do it one at a time though. And all I all I really need to do now is uh, I need to update the product images here. So, oh, we actually need to do this a couple times here, don't we? Um, and also, hang on. So, okay, sorry. See, I couldn't remember what I'm doing. So the first thing we got to do is <laughs> change the color of this to our new color group. And I have this green color here. So we're going to look for the green now. Uh, hey man, what are we doing with ourselves? Green? Ah, oh gosh. So I'm gonna have to scroll down here and find it. We'll make this search better because it sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I feel like that's a, probably like an Irish green. And yeah, you can see it's pretty close. I'm gonna select this apple color right here and I'm gonna add that to my color roll. So now that's updated. So now we have two rows here. We need to actually put our product images and that's where you come right here. You're gonna upload your product image for the front and the back and the side if you got it. Uh, in this case with the gray, we're gonna go front location. I'm gonna upload, I'm gonna click right here and we're gonna select the front for the, oh no, wrong one. We need to get the green, don't we? No, the gray, yeah, there we go, gosh. Okay, and then we're also gonna go to the back. We're going to go there. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so now we have the images for this line. Now we're going to do this one. So we're going to come back here on the front, and we're going to upload our green apples. And we're going to come to our back, and we're going to upload our green apple color as well. And we're going to hit plus. Okay, so now everything's pretty good to go. Um, and you, we can continue to duplicate these and create all the colors in our catalog and all this and that. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So again, the, the majority of the labor just is going to come from getting your product images, duplicating these lines. You know, like if you're creating a Gildan 5000, you're going to be at this for a little while. So I feel bad for you. If it's available from the SNS catalog, I would stick with that. You know what I mean? But it's up to you. This is your shop management system. So you do it the way you want to do it. All right. So let's hit save on this and let's show you what we got. So we're going to go to new quote here. And we're going to go step one, add garments. And our new product should, and I do mean should, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to clear some of my filters out of here. Turn best sellers back on. And our new product should be here. Uh, hang on, let me refresh this. There it is. Okay. So yeah, you, it looks sometimes you need to refresh your browser. Uh, but here is our new product. So let's click on this and you can see uh, by default, it shows just the, the model image if you don't fill out all the locations. But then we do have our front and our back, which we can then click to right save and click it. We also have our Apple view of this product right here. We can select this quantity. Well, hopefully, boom. Hey man, did I not put quantities in on this? Let's see, we may have found a bug. Hang on. Let me refresh this one more time. Okay, we're going to go new quote, add garments. Dude, this was working on the testing server, so if it's not working now, oh, I'm going to be so pissed. There it goes. We just had to ref. Sometimes if things get locked up, you got to refresh your browser. And if that doesn't work, you're actually going to want to go up into your history right here and you're going to need to clear or actually go to like if you're in chrome just go to more tools and you're going to clear your browsing data all right so now 
we have infinity, so nothing is ever going to be out of stock. Uh, did I remove that banner from that size? I could have swore that I did, but maybe I didn't. Let's go back. But anyway, so let's go this. We're going to go check that out in a second. Uh, yeah. So now it's showing you what our cost is after the markup. Remember, this was $2, and then it's taking from the price matrix our percentage markup, and now we have that. So this is a, it's beautiful. It's working like a charm. And now you can create custom products uh, and use the print project builder to set those up. Now, with custom products, you can also create things like with that product make, maker, you can create things like banners and business cards and all the other different stuff that you guys do. So you'll have access to those products from your product catalog now, which should save you some time when it comes to assembling your quotes for, for things outside of garments. Uh, now, let's go back to that real quick. And let's just see if I uh, forgot. I want to because I think I may have found a, a little buggy bug as I'm running through this. Where's the banner here? Yeah, see, so I deleted it from here, but it's showing up in the thing. So I may have found a, I'm gonna uncheck that. Uh, let me save this again. It sound, It looks like we have a bit of a bug just in the fact that, uh, I, cause I deleted it from here, but it looks like my custom field. I don't know, you guys play around with it. Tell me if you find anything funky and you can report it to me on theprintlife.com. But that's how you do it. Uh, and we, we are still going to be working on this probably for the next 30 days. We're going to be adding the um, inventory list here under products as well. So you'll be able to see what you have in inventory on all of your custom products. Uh, and then after that 30 days, we're going to spend another 30 days just tackling all the little things that we've had to neglect while we built this out. Just the little things. We have some issues with the PayPal stuff. Um, there's some issues where there's like not an, a note of, there's a bunch of little, we have a list. It's about 50 different things long that we need to tackle. And then after that, we're going to get into the custom price matrices where you guys can, can essentially build out as many different matrices as you want. Uh, you'll be able to set up as many print locations as you want. You'll be able to set up embroidery. That's what we're going to tackle. Uh, we'll probably start that in about 30 we'll probably start that project in about 30 days and that will probably take another two to three months to complete uh and then once that's done uh i think that this system will be more than flexible to so that any shop of any type can use it for whatever they want anyway that's what we got coming here in the near future guys thank you for being patient with this custom products thing and again we're going to take the next 30 days to just kind of refine it uh, let us know any changes you would like to see made or any features that you would like to see added just to the custom product.